Well, new tonight, a woman's mission to reunite a family with a lost loved one. So stick with us here. She has the man's cremated remains. The problem is she never knew the guy. And how she ended up with them is just puzzling. Jennifer Ortega has the story from Volusia County, all new at 11. Sandy Bush says she got a call to pick up her brother's belongings in this box, but instead there were someone's ashes. These are his ashes, you know. This is Bradley. It's kind of um, heartwarming in one way and another way sad. It's, I, I feel sad. Sandy says she's never heard of Bradley Howard Wise until a month ago when she found his ashes in this box alongside a picture of her deceased brother. I was so excited because my brother had been gone 13 years and I'm like, wow, there's going to be something of his belongings that we didn't have. But then when I looked over and saw the ashes, I'm like, I got to do something. She tells us the ashes were found in a storage business. Someone stopped paying for the unit and the ashes ended up in their attic. I feel like um, there's no dignity there for him. I mean, you know, 15 years he's been sitting up in an attic. I mean, he's a, he was a human being and the only thing I could trace back was that memorial card from my brother. Sandy has a feeling Bradley and her brother could have been friends. I called my mom. I said, does this name ring a bell to you? My sister also lives here. She didn't know of him. I said, wouldn't be great if I could get him back to his family, but every every um, avenue that I tried, I just hit a stone wall. Now we're trying to help Sandy get results, hopefully spreading the word to find Bradley's family. These ashes are homeless and it is my responsibility, my duty, you know, to find a place for him to have a final resting place. You can't bury them in a cemetery unless you're a family member, from what I understand, what I've been told. So what happens to the ashes? I just couldn't walk away from it. Sandy says she hopes she's doing right by Bradley. I would hope he'd say thank you so much for bringing me back to my family. In Daytona Beach, Jennifer Ortega, New Six. Now Bradley's ashes are being held at a local church in New Smyrna Beach until they are reunited with family.